two things. One quick one, I just got this, and I'm hoping I don't throw up from it. Um, I just took a Vicodin be oh, because I have surgery tomorrow and my tooth is rather painful right now. But I'm hoping that'll make this movie quite bearable. But, on to my next point. Okay, uh, I've been trying to figure out this uh, argument against God. And pretty much as I watched a video of 10th Dimension, um, God or the Multiverse, uh, I've kind of, he pretty much articulates it as best as I can, but I would like to make it, um, use it for my purposes. Um, so in between uh, trying to reach out towards the Christian community in my town, um, I'll stop that, I'll pause that. Um, and trying to use that as kind of a bridge for both in the community and on YouTube, which it's not really doing much good. Um, I've been thinking of this pretty quick, pretty much as much as I can, but I would like to put a, you know, picture of a electron, you know, the wave of possibilities for an electron, um, but pretty much, um, when no one is uh, measuring the the um, the position of an electron, it exists in every possible space at uh, or simultaneously, and and when somebody does measure it, that is considered the the observer effect, and when it's existing in that wave or when it's existing in this uh, type of fog where it's in every possible location it is considered a uh, Heisenberg it's kind of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle but Heisenberg uh, uncertainty principle pretty much states that you cannot know both the location and the velocity of of an electron <clears throat> so just getting that out of the way um, how that would tie into my argument against God um, in the beginning the, uh, the in the not in the beginning like Genesis but when the Big Bang occurred um, I made a video about it before that there's a hypothesis or an idea it's backed up by mathematics but we don't have anything you know like predictive power or anything so it's hardly a hypothesis that says that if about seven pounds of pressure came up from quantum fluctuations into the space of a proton this um, uh, that w could be enough or that would be enough to start the inflationary model of the Big Bang and at that moment when these when this uh, model of the Big Bang started there would be two ways of that happening one if there was a uh, god, the god could e could easily act as the or would act as the um, observer, um, because as you know, Christians say he caused you know he caused the Big Bang, and in causing something that would be in fact uh, measuring measuring it and there would be a defined uh, space or a defined location for it and that would only cause one universe to um, to occur but if there was no God um, then all the possible universes would occur simultaneously just like um, in the electrons uh, in electron wave and then those are my two those are my two options um a, a kind of a kind of a dichotomy but that's what i'm using right now because this is kind of the the, the base basis and uh, basis for the argument and i'm going to build and i'm hoping the argument will mature from here from input from you guys and uh so on but okay now all we have to do is show that parallel universes and the multiverse uh, occur er, is what happens well first of all we know that um, we know that uh, 
for one in relativity theory. Um, it's folds and uh, warps in the fabric of space-time occur, um, essentially creating black holes. And in quantum mechanics, this wave of possibilities points uh, points to that uh, that they exist simultaneously, and they don't exist. Think of Schrodinger's cat. Um, these both, uh, in fact, point to parallel universes, uh, black holes, as being mapped out by uh, physicists such as uh, Roy P. Kerr and I believe Stephen Hawking did a mapping of it. I'm not. I'm not sure. There was another. Uh, another physicist who did a who did a single black hole, a stationary one, and then Roy P. Kerr did a rotating black hole. But basically, um, black holes become the 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 gateway, the doorway to a parallel universe, and the and the in quantum mechanics, well things are existing in different in every possible state uh, basically as they say in most uh, quantum physics videos textbooks you know stuff as just an example it's a crude example but think of uh, think of uh, the choice in the double slit experiment you have one slit and then uh, Take a proton, uh, shoot it through the the one hole. It will cover a vast area on um, the photo the photos uh, cell or the photo you know whatever they're measuring it on. But if you use two slits, that's giving it a choice. So what they found was it was essentially splitting uh, and make and taking uh, both slits doing both at the same time and they knew this by it uh, canceling each other out in the middle sections so <clears throat> so basically that's what I have right now um, I'd like I'd really love to hear your guys' feedback um, so I know if this is crap if it's any good whatever and to let you guys let you guys know that I'm still uh, planning on making videos even if nobody's gonna watch them anymore or I don't really care this is more for me to get my ideas up but um, okay and for the for anybody out there um, God, this guy looks stupid. Please pray to the flying spaghetti monster that this is not going to ruin a childhood favorite favorite of mine. This is essentially I'm thinking it's gonna rape rape my childhood, and that's gonna suck. Okay, hope you guys like the hope you guys like my argument. Hope I could articulate it as good as I could, and hope the movie doesn't suck.